and welcome back. This is Bella Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming random match, and I swear to God, this was a random match. Uh, if you guys saw the last video, I described how I ended up creating this match. Like I demanded a rematch because I absolutely crushed him. Uh, I, I tried to set it up, and this is the guy that I ended up uh, joining it when I did not want him to. I, I show you the main screen here because I want to show you his main race is Terran. He is in the Masters League. He is ranked 20th. When I faced him, I remember he was ranked 19th, so he did drop slightly um, in the 1v1 ladder, which of course this was not a 1v1 ladder game, just a random game. Uh, he has 2,874 points, 511 wins, 447 losses. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Red Terran in the Southwest up against Chanson. He is the Green Terran in the Northeast. He has he has spawned as his favorite race. He did pick Terran. He was not pulling punches here. And as you can see, oh man, is he a master. Look at that. Constantly staying over 100 APM. Never dropping under that for a second. So here's what I'm thinking here, right? I don't, I have no idea who this guy is. This is my first really random game. I had never done a custom online game, multiplayer game. I always did the latter. Um, so when I joined this, I figured, hey, I'm going to face against some scrub who is too scared to play on the bronze ladder, you know what I mean? Who thinks that the bronze ladder is too hard. So this should be the easiest thing ever for me. So yeah, already, already, I have no idea what I'm talking about. So I'm going to stay in his base for most of this game because, well, he's the best opponent I have ever faced. Just just that simple math right there and you don't you don't need to watch this game to know that he's he's in the masters league that's all you need to know and i'm just in awe of this guy and that he would be just randomly playing random games just like yeah let's join a random game oh here's a guy so he's getting up his barracks it is well ahead of mine about 12 seconds faster than mine that is the beauty of his scv micro early in the game so I'm continuing to come around here. He goes for a different build than I go here. As I'm sure you can see, the fa the, the barracks is up, and then the the guy that was the, the SCV that was building the barracks went to build his first refinery. This is new for me. But that first SCV is out, and look at that micro. That SCV did not stand a chance. Once that SCV was being attacked, I tried to move him out of there, but I could not do it. Marine was too good. Too good. And here he's getting a supply de depot right in the middle of his mineral line. Um, I have seen that before. It is primarily used against like a Hellion or a Zergling harass, that kind of stuff. Um, just trying to to, to make sure they don't go around here and this is okay I have heard of a two racks expansion this guy is going for a one racks expansion this guy is confident that he can get this expansion safely so I have to do everything that's in my power to fix that and not get not let him get that expansion up and running meanwhile you know I'm going for three racks here you know because I have no idea who this guy is, and I assume that this will be over in about 10 minutes. You know, I'll come in, he'll have nothing, this guy's, you know, below bronze, pretty much is what I'm thinking. So he's getting three racks up while he's getting the command center. He's got one marine. One. And here I scan, and I go, what the hell is this guy doing? You know, all I just see is like, was that three racks in a command center? That was three racks in a command center. Instantly being morphed into an orbital command. And so I really, 
I don't know what to think right now. Engineering Bay is going up as well. Uh, he still hasn't really spent that much on uh, of his gas. Just now getting, you know, the tech lab and getting stim pack out of it. So this is, I mean, almost no gas has been spent yet. Just the 175, it looks like. And he should be getting the weapons upgrade number one immediately. Uh, but he is, he did try to move out with his five marines to see what was going on, it looks like. Uh, canceled that and ran back. So I am pushing here. As soon as I see um, all that, I, I just kind of like, okay, well, I need to wait for a marauder and then I'll go. So I instantly take out three SCVs and I'm trying to move into his base and instantly micro is starting before um, before I'm even in his base. I'm able to take out the one marine. I am not able to take out this orbital command though. It will escape in the yellow. Doesn't even make it to orange. Um, meanwhile, he's he's not panicking at all. He's not creating a ton of marines or anything like that. Oh, but he pulls all his SCVs off the line. I did not see this coming. Before the marines even went down, he's got so many of them out there and he micros them beautifully so he's kept the orbital command up here so he does have the lead i believe here and a factory is going up somewhere there it is in the corner over there hidden from everything else and he still has a ton of minerals just now got the second gas up my second gas is up where is all his money going He's just spent nothing on army. He's used his SCVs, and he's just countered me with that. I've spent so much more. Um, I do have the lead in the army, but I don't know if my micro is going to be good enough to counter his right now. I was able to force SCVs off the line, but it is still very early in the game. That does not mean that it is game over for me here. So I'm moving down here, and I'm trying to take out this orbital command before... It, it is in the red here, so I, I assume that I have at least some of it done. And I'm so surprised here. Sh I'm shocked that he even had stim pack, And he is able to get back uh, an SCV down to repair the orbital command. Meanwhile, he is getting a starport. This guy is insane. I don't know... I don't have words to describe how outclassed I am by this guy. He's also getting a... Oh my gosh, he's got five racks on the way as well. Just constantly pumping out marines and marauders, it looks like. And he's bunching them up right here, getting a bunker up to secure this expansion. Once again, he's just spent so much on, the, on minerals. And he's... I mean... Oh my gosh, he's done so well here. He still has a lead in the harvester count. That tells you how good he's been doing. Thanks to the uh, work on that orbital command. And I'm moving in here. I'm like, come on. I, I have to get this economic damage done to him. Who the hell is this guy? So I'm moving up. And I see that he's got uh, the bunker here. And I take that out. But he's just got too many marauders here, it looks like. I, I, I have no choice here. I did set up a bad rally point here, so that guy wasn't able to get that much damage done. I am stopping everything here. That bunker, once again, did save him. That, it was such a vital bunker. I take out the SUV making the bunker, try to run off. These two Marines will not make it. So I'm setting a new rally point right here, right behind the grass, hoping that he won't be able to spot it and I can get some damage done in, in time. And... Whoa, he's going for a tech little switch here. He's going to drop the starport on the reactor that was built on the factory. Meanwhile, he's gotten all five of his racks up, and he does the same thing that I do, So, which is uh, two reactors, three tech labs. He has three bunkers up in the front, and he's going to be able to hold off pretty much anything that I've got coming his way now. He does have quite a substantial lead in the army here, as well as the income. So really, I am far behind in this game. I went for the early aggression. It did not work out after the SCVs uh, were pulled off the line. Uh, thanks to his beautiful micro, he was able to take a commanding lead here. I do finally get my expansion up, but I know that his has been up for quite some time, and I still 
still feel like I need to get some economic damage done to him. I do have five racks up as well. Um, it's just not getting as many uh, as, as much done here as I would like. He is able to uh, scan and see that I have my expansion up, but because his was up so much earlier, he is going to be able to get so much more done than I am in terms of production. Speaking of which, he is getting an armory, another command center, another command center, I, I'll say it again, uh, three marines and two marauders. I do have siege mode researched, uh, but because these guys are so well positioned, I don't know if I'm going to be able to handle uh, taking them. And I'm like, uh, maybe I can siege here and try to back them off, and then I thought differently about that. He is getting level 2 weapons research, and the and instantly everything out of the bunkers once he does see my army. Now moving in because he did see that army, and once again, Siege Tank is, is, is late. He does not micro it until it is about halfway through being sieged up. Then he does go for it and instantly going to take it out. I don't believe it I maybe got one shot off, and so... Once again, just outclassing me. His uh, he is already one one. My armor one is on the it is on the way. Still, is not done yet. Uh, just now finishing in three seconds. But now he's going into to my base, taking advantage of his early aggressive economic build. Doing absolutely beautiful micro here. Um, as you can see, I mean, his, his APM dropped dramatically here. Uh, he's down to just 83. This is actually one of the highest APMs that I've had at the end of a game. And I am forced to GG, and that was awesome. I got my ass handed to me here. There's, there's really no other way to put it. You know, I was producing for a long time, but then once I saw that he was moving in I pretty much gave up here as you can see yeah just you know whatever this is game this guy has completely wiped me out and so let's look let's look here what he's got he's got two engineering bay that's that is how he was able to get those uh, upgrades done faster than I was he didn't get anything out of the armory um, he was pretty much using that to get the weapons upgrades there uh, so he's working off of five racks a factory uh, that he never got anything out of, and a reactor starport. He has the expansion up, fully saturated, with a third on the way. It looks like he was actually going to be dropping that on the guarded expansion here. It is actually past the high yield. I don't know why he was going for that one. I would assume that he wanted to go for the high yield first. Um, he's yeah, he actually has more minerals than I do. Um, but, wow, just, I was so surprised when I went into this game and I lost. I, you know, I was just like, no, this is just some random opponent. I'm sure he's going to be lower than me. I'm in the gold league. I did not expect to find somebody in the master's league here. I don't know if this was supposed to be a new build for him, but... Man, did it work, especially pulling those SCVs off the line, grouping them with all the Marines that he had. Remember, he had not spent um, really anything. Uh, at the point that I moved in, he did have three racks up. He had one reactor, one tech lab, and then nothing. And he was producing purely Marines. It doesn't. He did not get Marauders by that point. He pull, He had a, a few Marines, probably enough to take me out by... The, by themselves, just w without the SCVs, but he, as soon as he saw my army coming in, you know, he didn't panic, he lifted off the orbital command, moved it out here, moved the, all, all but one of his uh, marines into here, pulled the SCVs off the line, and then pretty much foxered a defense. Just incredible micro from him. It's not something that I'm used to seeing, I'm sure you guys are used to seeing better play um if you guys watch uh 
some other StarCraft II commentators that do the pro games. Uh, I have not seen this guy in the pro games, I assume because he is ranked 20th in the Masters League. He is not considered a pro, but this was still the best opponent I have ever come across, and he completely kicked my ass, and there was pretty much nothing I could do about it. Uh, just, just not good enough to face him, and that was the game. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed it, even though I lost. I hope you guys laughed, I hope you learned, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.